and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. And today we're out on the new and uh, upgraded Jixer. <laughs> if you've been keeping up with uh, recent videos, you'll know that this has gotten a few tasty new bits, and it feel it feels great to be honest. I'm actually I'm really happy with how um, my bits my bits worked out on it. So if you haven't been keeping up, I recently put a new chain, new sprockets on this. I recently put new throttle cables on this, which feel fantastic. And I put this lovely uh, steering damper on there, which also feels just lovely. Um, what are we doing today? Well, uh, today is a, is a more old school vlog. We're just, we're just doing a motor vlog. Um, to be honest, we're gonna chat about a few things and I'm gonna go in a direction I have not actually went yet. I don't think I've, I've went this road before anyway, unless I cycled it. And we're going to scout it and hopefully find some places to maybe fly the drone. This bike is going to the track with me on... What day is it going? Saturday? Saturday, yeah, this Saturday. So like, four days from now. I'm really, <laughs> really excited. Especially, you know, you put lots of work into your bikes and stuff and... Uh, the, the intent for this bike was always to bring it to the track, so I'm, I'm actually, I'm just super excited to to you know kind of get to use it for its its purpose it's the reason i brought it back to life and it feels so good at the moment so like i i learned a bit i am i am like i said before i'm a mechanical engineer so i kind of understand the stuff uh, about certain things but i tuned up the front suspension which actually feels really good and then also i uh, obviously added the steering damper so the front end just feels it feels a lot better than it did previously to, to me, you know, doing up my rebound and my preload and stuff on the front. Uh, and the rear is just solid as a rock because the rear shock, oh, does not suit me. Uh, but that's just, that's just something we're going to have to live with for a while because I cannot afford a rear shock at the moment. So, you know, that it is what it is. Now, there's one thing I want to show you up here. Um, it's a cool old church. Although I don't know is how old it is, but it's cool. So we're just going to take a minor detour here to the left. There's Balik Hallen Garden Center. So bumpy. This is what I wanted to show you. This this church. Uh, it's all still closed because of COVID things. We'll go down here and turn. Oh, for anyone wondering as well, I know a lot of people worry about um, steering dampers ruining the the usability of the bike at slow speed. But so far, this one. Now I have it on the lowest setting because I don't want, I didn't want it kind of intruding. So it feels absolutely fine though. This cool old church, it is open. I think I'm allowed in. So I hope you can all see that. I think it's cool. Yo, yeah. It's a quick. Quick little walk around you. You hanging on there? You. Seem to be. Okay, good. Stay there. So this is, uh, I'm not actually sure is it Ballycallan Church or what, but it's really cool. I'm not sure how old it is. I wish they put like name plates and all these, but there you go. Hopefully you can see it. I think the turret thing is really cool. That's what I wanted to, to stop and show you mainly. And all the old stonework. Uh, and yes, if you're wondering, there are churches literally everywhere in Ireland. But that's all I stopped for, just to uh, to show you that. So I wanted to uh, do this video to kind of answer a couple of questions I've had lately, give a few updates. Um, but one thing that cropped up a couple of times from people is, and I know I've mentioned it in videos before, uh, would I ever leave Ireland? And the answer is yes. I would love to leave Ireland. Not that I don't like Ireland or anything. Ireland is Ireland is fine, but I would love to live somewhere that was more uh, bike bike friendly. Say, you know, certainly on on the cards for me. Someday I would, and I'm getting older. So you know, I've been saying like someday since I was like 16. So it's just a case of eventually pulling the finger out and doing it. Uh, but America. I thought about Canada for a while, but I know a couple of people who moved to Canada since, and it rains. It rains just as much there as it does here, so that's probably off the list. 
Uh, not to mention if you move to the parts of winters. And look at that view. I can never, I can never not appreciate that. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm thinking of putting the uh, 360 cam there for the track day. So by the time this video comes out, it's probably too late for your opinions, but let me know what you think anyway. Um, you know, what do you, what you think of it there? Is it cool? Do you like it? Do you like it? Let me know. I am inter interessante to know uh, what do you think, eh? So yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely leave Ireland at some point. Um, but like, it'd have to be, I've never been someone, um, you know, like growing up, I always wanted to have uh, spare spare money to be comfortable. So I worked really, really hard. Uh, you know, I got my degree. I got a good job. I worked really hard at said job. I think I did okay in it. Um, so, you know, got, you get you kind of get recognized for being a good worker. Um, and then I changed jobs. So I've only ever worked for two people, two companies in my life, other than my dad. I also worked for my dad, and I think I did okay there too. <laughs> if, if he watches this one, I'm sure he'll correct me if he thinks I'm wrong. But, you know, that was just kind of, kind of my thing was, you know, get into a good job. And then if you get the, if you're lucky enough to get the opportunity, a good job. And this is the thing, it is, it is partially luck, because not everyone, you know, gets through the interview stage and gets, gets to do, gets to do the job that, you know, they might be really, really good at. So I do recognize that, you know, a lot of people don't get that opportunity in the first place. And I don't know how I did. I'm terrible at interviews. I'm not a, I don't feel like I'm a good interviewer because I absolutely hate you know all the spoofy stuff i don't like it you know what i mean like i am i'm good at equipment and machines I, and i like people so maybe i don't know maybe that helps but i like people to a degree too you know what i mean but for me i was kind of like i'm always i'm just i'm just honest you know what i mean in an interview i'm honest i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make up stuff and say buzzwords so that was that was never me so i i think i definitely was lucky to get to where i am and now I'm in a position where, you know, I can I can do this channel, which operates at a, a total loss. <laughs> but that's okay. That's not the point of it. You know what I mean? It's it's my hobby. Uh, but yeah, the channel operates at a total, total, total loss, if anyone's interested. <laughs> it, it is. It is. It is a massive money pit. But that's, like I said, that's okay. Um, that's, like I said, it, it's not, if the point of the channel was to make money, it would have stopped a long time ago. It's not to make money. It's to keep me sane. So give me a hobby, it's to hopefully entertain people. Uh, now, if anything's gonna fall off the bike, it's gonna be along here. This this part of this road is so bumpy. I'm just watching that 360 cam. Seems to be okay. Um, uh, yeah, so, what was I even talking about? Yeah, so I, I'm kind of in the point now in my life where I'm like, you know, you've worked relatively hard. Certainly not the hardest. People People work a lot harder than I do. But now it's kind of like, you know, enjoy it a bit. So if I was to ever move country, it'd have to make sense. You know, I'd have to be moving to somewhere that I was still going to be doing a job and still doing a job that enabled me to live my life the way I want to live it, if that makes sense. Um, that is that is obviously very, very important to me. And I want to be in a position that if some shit goes badly wrong, because shit has gone badly wrong before, you know, uh, on, on me. <laughs> If I really break something, or if I crash something, or you know, if, if I wake up tomorrow and I'm like, shit, I need a lot of money to sort this mess out. Because unfortunately, a lot of shit in life comes down to that. And, you know, at the moment, if I woke up tomorrow, I was like, oh, that's a big bill. I, I'd probably be okay. And that's just because, you know, I think I've made okay decisions at some point. So I'm not going to say I'm some form of financial guru. I'm <laughs> Don't ever take money advice from me, because I'll just tell you to buy bikes. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm all right. So that, that's my point, basically. I wouldn't be someone who'd want to take like a year off and go spend all their savings to travel the world. No, don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. It'd be different if I was doing it on a bike. I might do that, uh, but I, I oh no. I always forget about that. Um, but you know, I don't see how that's ever gonna happen. This bike's riding so good. A new chain and sprockets make such a difference. But you know, I, I don't see that ever happening. So that's just kind of, that's just, that is what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, I probably won't ever get the opportunity to ride like around the world or just even around Europe on a bike because, because I need to do my job. And you know, you've holidays and you know, you don't have that many holidays. So 
you know eventually I'd like to build up some form of business and this answers another question is someone asked me uh, you know whatever whatever stamp my own business and yes uh, of course absolutely I have lots and lots and lots of ideas whether any of them will ever come to fruition is a different story but you know you'll be the first to know <laughs> because I, I am an open book on YouTube if there's something you want to know just ask I'll almost certainly tell you unless it's something like really private that you shouldn't have asked in the first place and you're just being rude oh I love this bike see what I mean another church this church oh there's churches everywhere in Ireland they're just they're ev they litter the countryside not that they litter because I actually like well I'm not religious I do appreciate a fine stone edifice so they're okay edifice not to be confused with Oedipus that is a very different thing <laughs> If you don't know who Oedipus is, I think it's from Greek mythology. Uh, go look it up. It's like O E D I P U S, I think. No, yeah, this way, this right turn. I've never taken this right turn here. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> don't drop the bike anyway. <laughs> I don't even know what I did there. Like, didn't accelerate for some reason. Oh, I love you, bike. Oh, oh, it's so smooth. It actually feels so good at the moment. Oh, I love this thing. I absolutely love this bike. How are we looking on fuel? 75 miles, we should be okay. These steering dampers really work. Like really, really, really work well. It's, it's just made the steering feel uh, so much more secure. And uh, to be honest, look, I, I, uh, I was unsure about it in the first place because there was a lot of money and there's other things I want to spend money on the bike. We'll stop when we find something interesting and talk about it a little bit. But one of the things that I'd like to spend money on is I would like to get a Brembo brake master cylinder. Uh, the RCS, you know, 19, I think it is. I hope I haven't come this way before. It's starting to look mm, somewhat familiar. What's this now? County Tipperary. Huh, we've crossed the border. Ireland's ancient east and Tipperary is the Midlands. Um, okay. Well, it's more like South Midlands. I don't know why, what would you call Tipperary? I think it's Midlands though. It's certainly not the east of the country. It's definitely in the middle. My geography is not bad. All I would say is honestly, if you're thinking about doing your chain and sprockets on your bike, if they're getting a bit old and a bit worn, do them. I've already ordered a new set for the CBF as well. Uh, just because the CBFs are actually more worn than the Jigsaw set was, but I just really wanted to get the Jigsaw done first. Because, because track day. <laughs> Which is silly, I know, but it is what it is. So yeah, the other thing I want to get for this bike is the brake master cylinder but I'm actually really really happy with this steering damper because even now over these bumps previously I mean the bike it feel fine but it had a very uh, light steering uh, very light steering and now it's just planted it's rock solid and I have it turned down I think at the very very bottom so you know if I wanted to turn it up a couple of clicks it'd make it even more solid and, and, and you know stiffer but I don't know do I want it stiffer uh, because obviously making it stiffer makes it so that you know it's it's harder to you know actually bank in and stuff which isn't something i particularly want i like i like my steering being light uh, which is why i was kind of mm, yeah about the steering damper but anyway any other life updates uh no i don't think so i have a very boring life in reality i mean you see everything i do it's all <laughs> it's all bike related stuff so I was like oh I wonder does he have some crazy shenanigans hey little cat crazy shenanigans other than you know what I sh show you guys and the answer is is no this road is really nice I'm glad I came this way this road is just it's nice and flowy and this is something I just do after work sometimes I literally get on the bike head out and just pick a road and go um, which is exactly what I did today. I just said I'd bring you all along with me. Because 
you know, at the moment there's a lot of garage videos and there's a lot of review videos and I, I, I'm not going to apologise for that because, you know, some people did message me and be like, hey, what's up, uh, missing the tour videos, but I know I said it a while back, you know, how I structure my channel and it's, it's what's kind of helped to keep it fresh for me and I feel for others is... You know, I just show you what I'm doing at the time. I, I don't I don't try force videos. So, you know, if I'm doing garage work, you're going to see garage work. If I'm doing reviews, and at the moment, you know, Freeman Freeman are just kind of feeding me as many bikes as I can handle, which is cr which is great. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have those up as well, you know. And then, of course, you have, you know, the 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 explore videos are still going to happen. They're still they're my bread and butter. It's just, it's a case of, you know, at the moment it's trying to get free time. Like, at the, uh, I had my track day a couple of weekends ago. And then I did, you know, a couple of reviews for Freeman. And then I did, uh, you know, a bit of work on this bike. And a bit of work on the CBF. And then I was sick for an entire week. So, if you're wondering why the Explorer videos are kind of not there right now, it's largely due to due to that. It's largely due to the fact that I I missed an entire week of my life um, because of food poisoning. I want to go up to that tower up there. That's cool. I think actually I think that's yeah that is that's a great the graveyard one of my grandfathers is buried in. There's a little little tidbit of information for you which I didn't know for a long time. Uh, my uncle my uncle showed me. I think you go up here. So there you go, we started the video at one church and we'll end the video at another church. If it's open. And it is. That's a cool old tower. I, to be honest, I don't think I even noticed that properly last time I was here. Which is weird. I don't know how I didn't notice that. Ooh. Oh, this bike is running scrum diddly umptious. I love you. I love your bike. Um. So yeah, look, that's kind of that's kind of it. Um, update: Would I ever leave Ireland? Yes, um, absolutely. Spe especially to uh, America. America is like somewhere I've kind of lusted after since I was a child. But it's really hard to get a visa to get into your your country. You know, um, sort that out, please. I would like to get a visa, and I have a qualification. So I don't know. Does that help? I don't know. Does it matter? But I would like. I would like to get into your country and stay there forever and ever and ever and ever. But yeah, there's a cool old tower. Um, yeah, you're probably fine there. You're probably fine. So, again, I don't know, is there a nameplate? Well, oh, there's a bird up there. Oh, it's a bird. It's always a bird. No, no information. But I do see a strap for a lightning rod, so... All those, you know, it's, um, I found out about the lightning rods, by the way, it's, if it's the tallest structure in the kind of immediate vicinity, they put a lightning rod on it, um, because it can be prone to getting hit by lightning. So that's why they do that. <laughs> but there you go. I think that's a cool old tower. Good place to finish the video. I didn't mean to end up here. I just did. So yeah, if you've uh, enjoyed the video, um, please leave a like and if this is your first time here, subscribe. If you don't already know the channel, you probably didn't watch this far anyway, so, you know. Um, oh yeah, this is new as well. I put on new orangey carbon look tank protector because the other one was kind of fritzed. I also have grips for here and here. Not sure if I'm going to put them on yet. Don't know if I need them. This is the new gold chain. DID X-ring gold chain. New front and rear sprockets. Um, and of course, this absolutely beautiful Hyper Pro uh, steering damper, so yeah. That was it, spin and chat. Uh, I hoped, I hope that was interesting. I hope you enjoyed me bringing you out to this much more modern church. I prefer the older stone-worked ones. I don't know. I don't know how old this one is. I haven't a clue. We're in Ballangarry. Ballangarry? Or I'm not sure where this is actually. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me questions. I think it's somewhere like that. Ballangarry? Is it Ballangarry? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, there's the quite a good view out that way. And yeah, that's it. So uh, as always, very special thank you to my patrons. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If anyone has any questions for the channel, by the way, for, for me, 
and the channel, you know, uh, let me know. Like I said, I'm an open book. Happy, happy to make a video on it and tell you all about it. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. Adios. Outro crew. I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't recommend these gloves. See these things? Are you, where are you? You're there. See these things? There was one on like all of the fingers. Now there's only one left. And I mean, these did one track day and they just fell off, which is, I mean, it's not a big deal. The gloves are still functionally fine, but they were expensive. So I feel like they should have hung on a bit better. Anyway, bye.